Hey everybody, Tyler Florence here. Welcome to the Extra Mile. I'm so excited to take you behind the scenes of the great food truck race and take you behind the scenes here in beautiful San Francisco, California to show you why this is a world-class food city. Let's go. George and Cindy, so thrilled to be in your kitchen today here in China Live, right in Chinatown, San Francisco. We're gonna make a couple different dishes today. Yeah, a popular dish that most Chinese restaurants have right now is minced chicken and lettuce cup. Yep. This was originated back at the Mandarin here in San Francisco with Cecilia Chang, the legendary Chinese chef, Cecilia Chang. Well, I've known her for 50 years. I worked for her while I was going to Berkeley yeah. at the Mandarin, the famous restaurant in Lee Square. So we're gonna be making um, kind of a, a new version our, here at China Live, which I'm, I'm very, very excited about. I like to take a modern interpretation to Chinese food. Yeah. Keep things super fresh, like the produce and everything else, but also tweak it a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not fusion food, it's just modern. It's cleaner, it's fresher. Yeah. Let's jump into it. Huh? Let's fire it up. So yeah. we're gonna heat up that wok. Just throw a drop of water. If it starts dancing, then you know that the wok's hot enough. We have dancing water. Dancing water. We have, we have dancing water. When that wok is hot enough, you just want to glaze. Glaze yeah. the wok with a little bit of oil. And you control the heat when you need, like this. It's awesome. And it's about two to 300,000 degrees in BTU. And uh, we got a little bit of minced ginger. Okay. That is Chinese celery. Okay, so I just want to toss that around. Um, add a little bit more oil. That was Chinese sausage, lap chong. Black mushrooms. Uh -huh. The chicken, usually you would cook this first, but this is already yeah. pre-cooked. And, and that's just sort of poached and chopped up, right? Yeah, poached yeah. and chopped. It smells so fantastic. Chinese black olives, yeah. you gotta have that in there. And then you throw in this uh, sauce. There you go, boom. You still got it, brother. And then you finish off with just a little bit of sesame on the edge. It's a handful of ingredients, and it's really about the technique of putting it all together in layers. And this is what I love about this. It's so incredibly interesting and delicious. This is a San Francisco original dish. How many amazing Chinese restaurants are there in America that do a version of this that started with your mentor who brought it to America in the first place and then adapted and changed? And you, everybody's had this a million times. But I, I promise you this is a, a, world, a world above all of that. This is amazing, and like you can really taste like the layers of flavor that are coming out of this. All the balance of the flavors in there. You've got sweet, salty, you mentioned the nutty. Mm. It's just so incredibly delicious and so culturally significant to San Francisco. That's fantastic. We're super lucky that not only are we getting the chicken lettuce cups, but you're making another dish for us too. Yeah, a classic uh, Hong Kong dish. Uh, some people call it pan fried noodles or double brown. Very difficult dish actually to make, so you don't see a lot of Chinese restaurants. A lot of steps if you make it properly. We're gonna poach your chicken, we're gonna pan fry noodles, we're gonna bao shang the scions and the black mushroom. Bao shang means you're taking ginger, scions, garlic, and so, and you're literally bringing those flavors out. You're popping those flavors out in the hot water. And then we're gonna fold everything together. Right. I want to see what you call like the dragon's breath of, oh, of the wok itself. You'll like definitely that. see it That's with this dish, see. yeah. We're gonna start, we're gonna heat up that wok again. What we're gonna do first, we're gonna poach the chicken. Oh my God, that's a lot of oil. You're not gonna be using that much oil. You're gonna actually strain it out. So you just slide the chicken in there. See so your oil poaching, you're not frying. And it's cut so thin that it's gonna cook really quickly and it's not at a frying temperature. The lower right. The master wok technique Right? Like this is what it's all about right now. It's one of the most interesting cooking styles that I, I think a lot of people don't even really understand. So now we're gonna pan fry the noodles. Yep. So I'm gonna hit these. 
And then they just slide it on there. Yep. There's the pao shang piece, and you don't use a lot of oil here, just a little bit. So you got that thing pretty hot, right? Yep. These go in, scallions. Ginger is sliced very thin. Black mushrooms. A little bit of little chili heat. Little chili heat, why yep. not? Maybe bok choy, which I need to push, or just yep. throw that in there. Here's the sauce. Yep. Everything is perfect, right? You get the little crispiness on like the mushrooms or the chicken, right? Sauce is like really nice and juicy on the outside. Right. That chili heat is starting to kind of kick up. At the end, just the spouse at the very end. Yep. And this is like traditional Hong Kong cooking at its finest. I think this is great. It smells so good. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> come on. No joke, I would eat every bit of that bowl. And it's exactly what you said it would look like, right? The noodles are super crispy on the outside. I'm gonna make a mess of this. I don't care. That's a big bite, Tyler. <laughs> I'm, a big, I'm a big boy. It's a dream. That is such a, an amazing dish. And when you come to San Francisco, right? San Francisco, Chinatown, right? Like, th this, is, this is some of the most traditional cooking in our country. Chinese American food, sorry here, but yeah. it's coming back around. It's coming back around, man. George and Cindy are so lovely. They sent me home with all these cool little condiments. I mean, who doesn't love chili crisp in their fridge? I'm so excited about that. Arguably some of the best Chinese food in the world is here in San Francisco, and there's so many cool places to go check out. Thanks so much for watching The Extra Mile, and we'll see you guys next week.